Hey guys, it's George. Welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be rating and reviewing Jayan's airport fashion. Who doesn't like Jayan? Jayan is just a fire. He gets me every single time. Every time. And him in favourite. Take that. If you are new to this series of videos, hello, welcome. Let me explain how it works. I've got six of Jayan's Apple outfits here on my laptop. I'm gonna go through, talk references, designers, silhouettes, and much, much more. And then as it's a review, I'll be rating each look out of 10. 10 wings because we're at the airport. Just a little bit about my fashion background before we get into it. I studied fashion design at university where I specialized in menswear. And then I went on to work in the fashion industry for around four years where I worked with affordable brands through to contemporary designers and British heritage brands. Our first Jayan look is this all black moment. Straight away, we can see this beautiful Prada shirt. It is a Cuban collar shape, also known as a collar and revere or a camp collar. I don't know why it's called a camp collar, it makes no sense. But it's this really nice oversized silhouette. We can see that set in shoulder is coming past his natural shoulder and the sleeve is hitting him right at the elbow. And then we've got that classic Prada triangle on the chest pocket. It also looks like this is done up with poppers and the poppers or snaps, as you'd call them in the States, right? Are covered in black, so it's just all about this technical fabric and that Prada logo. I like the fact he's layered it, but I don't like what he's layered it with. I think this aztec -y kind of pattern on the sweater underneath, it distracts from how beautiful the shirt is. I like the fact that he's layered a shirt over a sweatshirt. It's really interesting layering and it's gonna be like so cozy and snug, but I just think a plain black sweatshirt underneath would have been the way to go. Jayan has then finished his look with a pair of black, I'm gonna say a straight leg trouser. They don't look too wide, but they look too wide to be slim. And we can see that they've got that front crease going down the middle. So it's just a really nice tailored pair of trousers. This would have looked good with jeans, but trousers just like pushes it up a notch and really takes it into this smart casual vibe. We can see as well, he's got the black backpack and it's just tying into the all black look. I really like it. I just wish we could just take the, the Aztec sweater off. <laughs> what do you guys think of the Aztec sweater laid underneath? Please let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'm gonna give our first JN look 8.5 wings. As I've said, the shirt, the trousers, the backpack, love this all black moment and the silhouette, but it's just the Aztec pattern that's like, taking it down. Taking it down from the 10 it could have been. Jan look two, I had to include this. I like the fact that we've gone from this like all black moment to a lot of color. And the use of color here is very concise. We can see that the red in this tartan coat is really pulling through to the belt, to the print on the t-shirt. So it's just really smart ways to add color and balance out the look. Jen is wearing this beautiful long coat from AMI Paris. And I really like the fact that it's got the hood as well. So you can really protect yourself against the weather. There are elements that are practical here as well as it being you know, a fashionable item. This is a fashion item because of the print. And I just really like the silhouette of it. It's slightly oversized, but it's not too oversized. So it really works here. But what I find really interesting is the styling of it. I believe this picture was from 2018. And I feel like you can just tell that by the styling. And for me, it's the skinny jean with the rip at the knee paired with the black shoes. I don't think the black shoes work. A white trainer, a black trainer would have sneaker, you know, would have worked better here. I think this overall outfit is too casual for the black dress shoe. And I think if we fast forwarded to 2021, we would be seeing a more relaxed fit of denim, not necessarily distressed, but I think it would still work with the t-shirt and then add a trainer in and that would really bring it up to date. I just love the coat. You guys know I live for a statement coat. So obviously this had to be in here. Gem look two, this is another 8.5 wings for me. It's just the black shoe. It doesn't work here for me. If you wanna learn how to recreate this look, I've recreated it over on my like to know it page. So if you want to follow that, the details will be on the screen and in the description box. If you're enjoying today's video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell so you never miss a future upload. And whilst you're there, give this video a big thumbs up. 
YouTube have just introduced super thanks. This is a new feature where you can tip your favorite creators and say thank you for all of the content that they put out. So if you would like to make a donation to my channel, it will be massively appreciated. JN look three, we've got this really classic moment. And what I like is how we've gone from these two very fashionable contemporary looks to a look that is leaning slightly more classic menswear, but the layering is keeping it very contemporary. Gian is wearing a white roll neck, and to me, it looks like it could be a jersey roll neck just by how soft and slouchy the fabric looks. A knitted slash cotton roll neck, it looks like it has more structure around the neck, if that makes sense, whereas here we can see that it's looking quite ruched and then over the top he's got this beautiful nude tone cardigan that's only been done up with a few buttons i like the fact that the bottom is falling open if it was done all the way up it takes it maybe slightly granddaddy do you know what i mean just having it slightly open is just more of like a youthful contemporary way of wearing it i haven't got a full shot of this look but i'm presuming that jan is wearing a pair of black slim or skinny jeans on his legs and then over the top, Jan is wearing this very classic SB3 notch lapel coat, single-breasted, three-button, industry, industry slang. <laughs> the simple silhouette of this coat just keeps the overall look looking very clean, very classic, and it has that contemporary edge. I really like this colour palette as well, the flash of nude in an otherwise monochromatic colour palette. Love. Love it. I'm gonna give Jan look three nine wings. Classic, contemporary, and he just looks really handsome, okay. Jen look four, this is potentially my favorite outfit out of the set of looks that I picked. It's just very classic contemporary menswear again, and I just feel like this is the perfect fall winter outfit because of the color palette, because of the layering. If you have a man, dress him in this look. It is sexy, and it's just, the cut of the trouser, the converse, everything is very contemporary and up to date compared to like the skinny jean and the black dress shoe look. So it's just like, Jan is wearing this coach style jacket in this really nice plush wool fabric. And it's in this beautiful like burnt orange warm brown tone, perfect for autumn. And then we can see underneath that he's layered a cardigan that comes up right to the neck in this crew neck shape. And it's just a slightly light tone of that warm tone brown. And it's been laid over the top of a crew neck t-shirt. And then I like the fact that the crew neck t-shirt has been tucked into the black jeans because it's giving us that long leg silhouette. It would work for the t-shirt tucked out, but it would make it immediately a lot more casual. Tucking it in, it just makes stuff lean more smart casual. And it's just, in my opinion, it gives like a better overall silhouette. It makes the legs look long. It makes the body look elongated. And then what I like about this cut of jean is that it's slightly more relaxed and that is more to current trends. If you love your skinny jeans, love your skinny jeans. But at the moment, it's more about relaxed denim and that really fits into this. And even the length of it, just hitting slightly below the high top converse, really nicely framing the shoe. Just everything about this is right. The color palette, the silhouette, the fabrics, like he looks hot. 10 out of 10 wings for this outfit. He looks so amazing. Definitely like boyfriend vibes, the boyfriend you won. Jen Look 5, we've got another very contemporary menswear look, but this silhouette is a lot more relaxed compared to our previous looks. What I really love here is the jumper. We can see that the fabric looks very plush. It looks very luxurious, and it's got this beautiful rib around the neck, around the bottom, around the cuffs. And we can see it's this really nice boxy oversized silhouette but more so the sleeves. That shoulder head's been really dropped past where his natural shoulder is, pretty much halfway down his arm. And then usually when you drop the sleeve head, you decrease the length of the sleeve. So it ends at a natural, well, do you know what I mean? At a standard point. But what we can see here is that they've not done that. The cuff's coming right down to the knuckle and it looks like they've slightly ruched at the sleeve. So it's not, too long, it's just the right length. I really like it. You can imagine 
how cozy this would be. We can also see that this has been layered over the top of a white crew neck t-shirt. And then on his legs, Jayon is wearing a pair of straight cut black trousers. It looks like, again, they've got that front crease down them. And he's got a white sneaker here. Maybe it looks like a little low top Converse. I'm not really sure. Converse aren't my favorite shoes, but it works with the outfit and it works with the overall silhouette. It keeps it very clean. It has almost like a Scandi vibe to it. Obviously on the jumper, it says made in something. I've not got a back shot. But I like the placement of the text wrapping around the body. And you can see that the texture of the letters is that really nice kind of like fluffy texture that you find on a varsity jacket. And that will contrast really nicely against the texture of the knit. I'm gonna give Jen Look 5 nine wings. I really like the silhouette and how it's this really like clean Scandi vibe and it's very contemporary. Jen Look 6, frankly, I'm included this because he looks hella sexy like the layering the leather jacket the jeans just everything here is like that sexy boyfriend vibe do you know what i mean you do mm -hmm. what i really like about this leather jacket is that it's not a standard leather biker style jacket it's more of a coach style jacket the shape of the collar the zip going down the center front and then it's been kept very clean usually leather jackets have lots of pockets lots of zips and it looks like the zips for the pockets are more in the side seam of the jacket. And then we have that pocket at the top of the chest. It's just keeping the jacket very clean, very minimal. And then this has been laid over what looks like a black denim shirt. I just really like the combination of the denim and the leather. He's giving us this double denim moment, but he's laid the leather jacket over the top. But when he takes that off, double denim, both black. I think it's really nice. And then he's got that white crew neck t-shirt underneath. I would have liked to have seen like a little necklace or something here. I just think that little like hint of jewelry would have looked really, really great on him. And then we can see the look's been finished of slim cut black jeans. I'm saying slim because you can see the fabric ruching a little bit around the knee. I really like the silhouette on him. It's slim and it's sleek. Jayan's look's then been finished with the perfect black accessories for this look. We've got the black duffel bag, the black pointed Chelsea boot, and then he's got that Western style belt with the big buckle. This is just a very classic menswear look and it fits him perfectly. So take notes. Jayan knows what he's doing. I'm gonna give Jayan look six, nine wings. As I said, it's classic and it fits him perfectly. And I like the fact that it's majority black black accessories. You guys know I love that. <laughs> From reviewing these six looks, I feel like Jayan has two different styles that he leans into. He leans into very classic menswear that fits him like a glove, or he's leaning more contemporary and the silhouettes are slightly more relaxed and there are little hints of color that are just done so well, like that AMI jacket the beautiful, like warm orangey brown jacket. Oh, that is my favorite look from this video. Please let me know in the comments what your favorite look is. But what you should do next is go check out my previous video, my first time reacting to the boys, the boys Maverick. I fucking loved it. I'll leave a little link up here in the top screen as well as in the description box. But thank you so much for watching and a massive thank you to everyone who has subscribed. You are amazing. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.